Hello Leo and welcome to your reading. Leo, we are going to see what messages the Divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. As usual, I always want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because by doing that you get a much fuller picture of the energies that you are working with. Leo, these readings are generalized so take what resonates with you leave what doesn't because that will resonate with someone else who's watching this reading so let's get your cards and see what is coming up for you and that's it and as i'm doing that i'm going to remind you as well that i have started a new channel which is to do with love and matters of the heart so if you like love readings you can go and follow my follow me on my new channel i'll link it in the description box below so i am looking at the cards that you have and you have wonderful energies here leo these are nice energies that we have but we have some things that we also need to talk about okay so you're not getting off the hook that lightly but nonetheless we have wonderful energies that we're working with which is always nice so let's work with these cards for now and let's see what is here so leo the first thing that we need to talk about are some adjustments and some possibilities because we have adjacent possibilities so there are situations opportunities that are here and you might be in that energy of not knowing which one to choose because you have that opportunity that door that is open that 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 and a lot who doesn't want a lot of choices? So whatever is going on here, Leo, you're being invited to that energy of really thinking, pausing to see which choice, which door that you want to work with, that you want to walk through. Because I feel that you have been really working hard and now Perhaps your work is being appreciated and more opportunities are coming your way. But it's always typical, isn't it? That you wait for a bus for a long time and then three of them show up. So I feel that there is a similar type of situation here where you have been grinding, where you have been working and suddenly all these opportunities, all these doors are opening and this could be even to do with love. You have gone on different love websites, you have put your profile out there and now all these other people are opening up opportunities for dates. So you are here in this energy of looking to see which one you want to choose. The ball is in your court. And I like that because I want to be the one with the endless possibilities and opportunities. Who doesn't, right? So you have wonderful energies that are just saying to you that there are doors that are going to be opening for you. So really be in that energy of looking at all the different options all the different doors that are opening for you and asking yourself the important question because it's always worth noting that not all doors that open are good. Some of them just look good on the outside but when you really look deep down underneath the surface then you're like mm, no you were just someone who looked good, smelled good, but below that, there wasn't really anything else. So with this card here, it's just saying to really examine your choices before you make that final one. Because once you've made that final choice, all the other doors might open. And if you accidentally chose glitter because you thought it was gold, because it just looked good, it was sparkly, you could miss more better opportunities that are here so really look at all the different options situations before you choose which one is right for you the reason i said that this could be a romantic type of situation perhaps or this could be something to do with your um, stability maybe these are different jobs that are coming in and whatever is coming in it is all to do with your uh, security your stability because we have the first chakra here and the first chakra the root chakra is always about our feeling of what is grounding me does that situation bring stability for me what does that hold for me? So again, there is a situation here that is to do with your root chakra, that is to do with your stability, that is to do with just feeling good, feeling grounded. So 
I feel that this is something that is important for you because you're wanting to create that grounded type of feeling. So whatever you are choosing, make sure that it is just not looking good. And that's all there is to it. Does it tick all the boxes that is more important than just looking good? So whatever options are coming in, there is a sense of appreciation because maybe you have been praying for all these possibilities to come in. You have been praying for these golden doors to up open themselves up to you. You have been praying, you have been hoping, and as those doors are now here opening for you, as these options are now here, you're feeling inspired, you're feeling excited. And not only that, you are being reminded to be in that energy of showing appreciation because you have been praying for these situations and opportunities to happen for a long time. And now that they're here, don't let the excitement make you forget to show appreciation because the divine has been working and putting all these possibilities and options for you. So don't just get excited and then a year from now think, oh, I forgot to say thank you. So be in that energy of showing your gratitude, your appreciation, because it is important. There is an energy here where it's asking you to be in that energy of shifting your perception so we have the air guardian and the air guardian talks about shifting your perception. What does that mean? Again, as you are making your final choice, does this choice that you're making really bring in all the stability, the money, the whatever it is that you've been praying for? Because by shifting your perception, you are allowing yourself to think a little bit deeper Maybe let's say this is a romantic situation, for instance, because I don't usually talk about romance on this channel, but you know, let's just change things up a little bit. So let's say this is a romantic situation and you have gone always for a certain type of person, but now some of these possibilities that are on the cards are a bit different to your usual type. Maybe by shifting your perception, by allowing different types of people to be able to date you, to be able to romance you, this is when you can see that, oh, mm, actually, maybe my type of person is not really the type of person who brings in stability. They bring in excitement. They bring in all that, the romance, the joy. But after a while, this is like that fleeting type of energy that they bring in. But again, we saw that you wanted something that was bringing in the energy of stability. So maybe your person who is bringing in stability looks a little bit different to your usual type. So there's an encouragement here to shift your perception as you are making that final choice. There is also an energy here from our stargazer that is speaking about setting your sights higher. I feel that Leo, you are in that energy of really wanting to ask more that you than you have ever dared to ask before. You are saying that I deserve the best. And yes, you do. And by setting your sights higher, by shifting your perception, you are seeing that, wow, greater things are starting to open up Greater things and greater possibilities are starting to happen to me. So you are changing, you are shifting, and these shifts and changes are allowing new things, new experiences to come into your life. So before you make your choice again, we already spoke about this. This is an energy where it's asking you to have that moment of reflection. So this card is saying, take time to reflect. Take time to reflect on your past experiences, on your past choices. What does those choices look like and what do they bring for you? Remember, you are now in this energy of having grown up, of having elevated from all the different types of experiences that you have experienced. And now, as you are shifting your perception, 
And now as you are pivoting and turning, you are allowing this time to reflect on the past. And as you reflect on the past, you allow yourself to make better choices that are going to bring this energy of being grounded, that are going to bring that energy of stability for you, Leo. So our next card is bringing in the energy and a reminder that you are the magician of your life, Leo. We are speaking of the sorceress and the sorceress card is saying that you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Because why? Leo, because you allowed yourself, oops, I've just dropped my cards on the floor. Sorry about that noise, by the way. So you have allowed yourself some time to reflect, okay? Allowed yourself some time to shift and to set higher goals for yourself. You are bringing your standards up. You are demanding better because you're understanding that you are the magician and you can create anything that you want. Maybe in the past you have played small, Leo, but now you're saying, no, I am a divine being and I deserve. It is, in fact, my birthright to experience whatever it is that I want because I am the magician, I am the sorceress, I am the one who can manipulate and manifest whatever I want into reality because why not? This is your human experience and it is your choice to experience whatever it is that you want. And you are taking that, you are using it to manifest your next experience that you are excited about. We have the energy of unconditional love next. And this card is asking you to love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter the outward appearance may be. So again... I was speaking about going through all the different experiences and now you are here saying, no, I deserve the best. Okay, because in the past, yes, I've experienced some shitty situations, but I don't care. I am sending those situations away with love, honoring them because they have taught me a lot. They have taught me what I deserve. And as new opportunities are coming in, Leo, you are excited about where you are going because again, you are understanding that you are creating whatever it is that you want. And the card that is closing off our reading, Leo, is one of my favorite cards because this is the inner goddess. We have Aphrodite. And she is here saying, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciation for your divinity, Leo. I told you, you are divine. You are the sorceress. You are the magician. You are the wizard. You are the divine feminine, the goddess. And again, you can create whatever it is that you want. And maybe as you are manifesting, you could see that by just being in that energy of dance, letting yourself go, as you are imagining how your future is going to look like, you are manifesting a lot faster. So, Leo, I'm going to let you go and have these beautiful energies work with you. So... Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. On that note, I'm going to see you in my next video and it's a goodbye from me.